Hey, what's going on guys? It's Coach ML here back with another video. Today, we are going to provide one tip for every single face at level. Now, this is going to be a two-part video. If you guys want to see levels five through 10, which I'm gonna be covering next, make sure to hit that like button. Let's see if we can hit 250 likes on this video. Today, we are going to be talking about face at levels one through five, and I'm gonna walk through each of those levels and give you a tip that can help you improve your game and become a much better player. So let's get into level one players. How can we get better at this low level? You are quite literally at the bottom of face that you are the worst rank. Now, the biggest mistake I see level one players making and something that you can improve on is crosshair placement, right? You're gonna be new to the game, you're bad, but one thing that you need to understand is a lot of you guys are running around your crosshairs in random spots and not knowing where you're looking. I want you to start thinking where is my crosshair and attempt to put it at head level, right? Attempt to put it at a head level and wherever you're peeking, try to put that crosshair where people are going to peek you or swing you or where something is, right? Um, and this is always changing, right? So say we're coming out of palace here, um, you know, we might aim like this or we might aim here, but depending if there's a smoke down, that's gonna change where we're pre-aiming. If there's a smoke downstairs, we're no longer putting our crosshair here and coming out like this. Now we're going to the edge of the smoke and, and putting our crosshair where people are gonna be so that we can shoot them, right? And obviously you're not going to be good at this at first, but as you develop this crosshair placement, you're going to be so much better. But first, I have to give you a message from the sponsor of today's video. Thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Skins Monkey. They are one of the greatest and easiest to use CS2 trading sites out there. You can swap out the skins you do not like for brand new ones that are so much more fresh. Even skins that are trade locked can be secured by adding them to your backpack. The greatest thing about the site is that you can buy skins for so much cheaper with a 35% deposit bonus when you use my code, Kojo. Make sure to check out the freebie section where you can get a free skin just by completing tasks. On top of the bonuses, you also get a $5 bonus when clicking the link in the description. All right, guys, let's talk about face at level two now. What can we do better when we are face at level two to improve off of the level one tip that I just gave you? I think that face at level twos are, you know, the most struggling when it comes to call outs and knowing what's going on around the map. When you're face at level two, I want you to understand how to read the minimap, right? Now, my, my face cam is blocking the minimap right now, but I want you to be able to understand every position on the map and how to call it, right? There's seven maps in the competitive pool. It can be hard, but first just learn one map and learn the basic spots, right? So on Mirage, this is window, right? Jungle is connected to window. Um, you've got stairs, you've got connector and so on, right? And learning these callouts and getting comfortable with this is genuinely going to make you play better because you can give good information to your team where you can be like, guys, he's peeking me jungle. He's peeking me CT. He's jump spotting here. He's playing behind firebox, right? And learning these callouts and understanding the, the way the map works, I guess, through communication is huge. It's going to be everything to you. And genuinely, if you can get better at this communication and a little bonus thing is like reading your radar, understanding that those little dots in your radar are going to give you so many clues is literally something that could just carry you to the next level face level three. So let's talk about face level three and some tips that you can use at this level. Now at face level three, you're going to have to start shooting a little bit, right? You're not going to be able to just be a, a newbie as much and, you know, be learning like how to put your crosshair somewhere. You need to understand how the guns work in this game. If you can start to develop a little bit of, uh, you know, skill with the guns and understanding how they work, you are going to be so much better, right? The biggest thing I'd recommend is understanding spray control, right? In Counter-Strike, every gun has a spray pattern, right? And that was a little bad because I was inaccurate at the beginning, but I'll show you again. So the AK spray pattern looks something like this, right? Every gun is going to have something different. It's going to work like this. I'm not moving my mouse at all. This is just how it works, right? And understanding these spray patterns and trying to master them is going to be your key to succeeding. When you're facing level three, the good news is, guys, you don't have to be able to master it, right? What I would recommend is with your mouse, trace the opposite of what the bullets are doing, right? So like I said, the spray pattern was like that. Trace the opposite. So pull your mouse down and attempt to do this, right? I've covered in the past a workshop map that you can use to get good at this and, you know, improve yourself. So uh, check that out. But in general, I just work on tracing, tracing, tracing. I You can just get into a, a practice server and get on a wall and do this. You can join a, a recoil map and get this down, but master the AK, master maybe the MAC-10 because you're gonna need to understand how to use it, right? And, and understand in your brain, just tell yourself, okay, with the MAC-10, it's gonna go up to the left. I don't even know the like spray patterns for most of the guns in the game, but if you just have a general feel of it, it's gonna start to become second nature and make your life so much easier. So 
yeah, developing spray patterns, gonna be your focus at face level three, understanding the gunplay and just how to get better with all of those things, right? Now face at level four, let's move on to that and talk about what you can do to improve at this level i'd say the biggest thing for you when you're facing level four is starting to understand utility right and yeah i mean uh definitely learn like the basic sets of utility that's how you're gonna start off like on a map like mirage learn the top mid smoke right learn one of those um learn a window smoke from either spawns or you know from here do your thing right um learn your a smokes uh i'll show you a quick little util set you can throw and impress your friends line up like that aim here jump throw have another smoke and aim here and jump there, right? Learn these basic utilities that you're going to use the most on the map so that you don't forget them. It's so easy to forget lineups, but also what you need to develop, which is even more important than just knowing these uh, set lineups, is how to use utility on the fly, right? You know, say we are planning the bomb here on A site, how can I use utility? It can be something as simple as, okay, instead of trying to get a smoke to land right here by bouncing it in front, we're gonna throw it off of this box and then play the round out, right? So I just, just I just used like geometry or trigonometry, whatever, whatever you want to say, and I and I bounce it off the wall, right? And once you get really good at understanding this like geometry in the game, you can do some cool stuff, like pop flash behind you when players are coming out a ramp on you, right? Like, you know, you understand the map and you know this utility, so I'm just gonna chuck a molly in the jungle here, right? Just cut off rotates, do whatever. You know, we're underpass window, uh, we can just smoke off window i guess that works you can smoke off window like that right like just understanding how utility works so that you can start to do something like this right just watch this look at that you can eventually start to like throw smokes like that and you know do flash plays where you bounce it off and do all these things it's so sick guys it's literally so sick you know you're sitting firebox you're getting pressured you flash behind you you know where you're throwing it learn utility man and not even just set you pieces but little gimmicky stuff like that now guys, if you're into memes and into fun kind of stuff, check out my shop. I am releasing merchandise and there's so many cool things. You can support me by getting yourself a coffee mug, a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, a hat. And if you know, if you don't, if you're on a budget and you don't have as much to spend, anything helps me guys. There's even stickers out there. There's cool holographic stickers you can pick up. Just so much cool stuff. Check out my shop. I'll leave a link in the description. Maybe I'll have a card up here, I'm not sure, but yeah, let's move on to face of level five now. Face at level 5, I need to grab bomb here because I need to talk about what you guys need to develop the most, right? Um, and I think uh, a really good thing that you guys need to understand is like post plant situations both on T site and CT site. So say we plant the bomb here on T site, right? Um, what, what should we play off of this post plant, right? Obviously we should play for cat or apartments. Why? Because we planted the bomb in a spot that we can cover it from both in here and then also in here. Too many face at level 5s. I see not understanding post plants and where to go and in what situations, right? Now, on T side in post plants, you want to plant the bomb and force the other team to defuse it. When they're defusing, they are totally useless, right? They have to literally sit here pretty much with their knife out and just defuse. They can't shoot you, they can't do anything, right? So in a post plant situation, we want to put the pressure on the CT side, right? Make them come through here and clear every single angle possible and, you know, come in here and do this. Guys, if you're watching this video or you have a friend, that's face level five with you send this to him get into crossfire setups on t side this can be you know having a guy sitting bench side right having guys sitting bench side and then having a guy sitting get right pillar and you know they're coming out market well now when they're swinging your guy bench or you know you can play off each other and shoot people from two directions right it's the same thing if you have someone sitting right here and then maybe you have like a guy playing close like you know, it's, it's a little worse of an example, but always have these crossfires, right? Across any map, whatever we're doing, have a crossfire, right? You know, if we have a guy sitting there, we have a guy firebox and, you know, ready to peek off of wherever they're at. And it just becomes so good. But what do face level 5 struggle at? They don't plant for themselves. Plant for yourself wherever you choose to plant. If you plant safe, play for yourself. If you plant open, congrats, you've just won the round. Now you know where to defuse. Um, and then on the CT side, guys, I just say put more pressure with your utility on post plants. I don't see face level fives using their utility enough to, you know, defuse to win the round, right? If they're playing default, literally drop a smoke down and try to defuse, click the defuse, right? Just click the defuse, tap it, get off, and then reposition. That's gonna force the T's to sit here and like spray the smoke down. And while they're doing that, you can just get a free frag. So on both sides, I think that level fives can just understand post plants a lot better and understand like how to play these situations and maximize them the most um thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions go ahead and join my stream twitch.tv slash cojomocs i'm live every single weekday pretty much so you can watch me live and learn from me in real time so i appreciate every single one of you you all have a great rest of your day keep grinding and i'll see you later peace out